Okay, so number 31 is that my first concert ever when I was in high school was No Doubt. So um, that was just like an amazing experience for me because I love No Doubt and pretty much all like my older cousins um, also love No Doubt and I went with them so it was a really good time. Um, best experience for my first concert I would say and I will never forget that. Okay, number 32 um, is that I'm very motivated and driven to accomplish my goals, which seems like a really great thing, which it is, obviously, but um, it's, it's not a bad thing, but what it hurts is that I don't take time to appreciate the present, and I have recognized that, but it's still hard for me to do. So I'm always working towards the next thing, um, and I never take time to realize that that I worked so hard to get to that point I should enjoy that for a while before I'm just like moving on to the next um I do that like with my career a lot um uh, and it, just in general in life in general so I'm working on that I'm working on like enjoying the present um so that I'm not just always like working towards the next thing um okay so number 33 when I was a kid, I was obsessed with shoes. So, you know, as a child, whenever you get like money for your birthday or for a holiday or something, uh, you probably want to buy toys. I wanted to buy shoes. And I mean, like at a young age, like before I even started school, if I got any type of money or if anybody asked me like, oh, what do you want me to buy you? I would say shoes. I just love shoes. Um, I still love shoes, just not as much as before. Like, I remember what having my first job, every paycheck, I would buy a pair of shoes. Like, I, my closet was filled with shoes, and it was insane. But I'm not like that anymore. <laughs> um, okay, so let's see. Number 34, I cried when Selena died. So I was three years old when Selena died. Um, and I don't remember this, um, but I always hear the story from my cousins and from my parents that um, I was so upset that day that it happened. I, I guess I'm guessing my parents told me. I don't I don't know how I knew. Um, and I was crying, and my older cousins asked me like, "What? What's wrong? What? What's going on?" And I told them that my friend Selena had died. Um, I thought she was my friend, um, but yeah, I'm, I'm still sad about that, like, and upset because that. It was a really sad day. Um, number 35, my favorite teacher ever was um, one of my high school teachers, Mr. Kushida. He was my avid teacher and he was also my world history teacher. He, to this day, um, is like a like no other teacher that I ever had. So he was so passionate about his job and his students and he made every lesson enjoyable and every lesson was different it was ne like we never walked into his class knowing exactly what was what we we're gonna do that day um obviously we knew you know like maybe the topic um but he was just such a great teacher and i was so fortunate to have him as my teacher uh fresh freshman sophomore and junior year um our junior year in high school he told her um our avid class which was like the same group of students every single year um that he was offered a position at a charter high school in oakland and that he left he left it up to us he told us if, if we didn't want him to go for our senior year that he would stay behind um uh, but we all decided that it was the best fit for him um he he wasn't supported at our high school um uh, to this day Azusa High School, no offense, Azusa High School, um, does not like change. Um, and it's it's not very, administration back in those days was not, they were not very supportive of him. Um, even though he was such an amaz amazing teacher, I feel like they have lost so many amazing teachers because they aren't able to teach the way they want to teach at that high school. So yeah, we decided that the best thing for him to do was to go um, you know up to Oakland and teach at this charter high school where he could really make the difference that he wanted to make um, And he still kept in contact with us. I, I haven't spoken to him in in years I think I only spoke to him at, like my, during my first year of college um, But yeah, he's still my favorite teacher and he definitely inspired to me to inspired me to be a teacher like him 
Okay, um, number, I lost where I'm at. Okay, 36 um, is that I love iced coffee. So iced coffee, coffee in general, is my favorite drink like of all time. Mainly iced, I don't really like hot coffee. Um, but what sucks is that um, when I got pregnant, I stopped liking coffee so much. So obviously you're not really supposed to have a lot of caffeine, but you can still drink decaf. Um, but just it's just not the same. I don't know like my you know, like my taste buds and are different now But hopefully after I give birth I crave it again just because that was just something I would always look forward to um, Yeah, I really love coffee Okay, number 37 is that I hated elementary school uh, but I really loved middle school and high school so um I don't know I think it's just because I struggled in elementary school like I didn't do well in school and I just feel like that's like a weird time I don't know but um, I didn't I don't remember a lot of elementary school because I feel like I blocked it out like I didn't I didn't like it so I like blocked it out of my memory but middle school and high school I really enjoyed so I think it's because um, you know obviously you have a little bit more freedom when you're older I was always somebody who got involved like I always did sports I always did clubs Anything that you could sign up for I wanted to do it like I just wanted to be involved So I was really involved in middle school and I was even more involved in high school to the point where I remember mr Kushida my favorite teacher was like you literally sign up for too many things Like I don't know how you have enough time in the day and I didn't like I just I just wanted to be involved in everything um, and But yeah, so I, I just really enjoyed those times and I think also I like did better in school i i learned how to read better and i um just i did well in school i always did um and yeah so i just enjoyed school during those times um number 38 i don't share my birthday with anybody in my family so i'm the only one that's born on may 29th i almost shared a birthday with my cousin osvaldo shout out to him uh, but he is actually born on May 28th. He is younger than me, but he was born on May 28th. So I have my birthday to myself for now. Um, number 39 is that I don't have any pets. So um, growing up, we didn't have many pets, but we always had a pet. Like we always at least had a dog. Um, right now, my family, my sister has a cat. Um, but I don't I don't live with my family. I don't live with my parents um, and my husband my husband is not a pet person like at all like he didn't he never had a pet I don't think growing up at all and he doesn't have any desire to have one either I always say that I want to get a dog and I still like do but I forget about it so I guess I don't want it like that bad um, and also I feel like you know outside of quarantine life i don't really have time like to take care of to take care of an animal and i just don't think it's fair to have an animal and not have the time to take care of it um number 40 is my least favorite chore is washing dishes so like i mentioned earlier i'm a really clean and organized person i actually like enjoy cleaning my spaces um, but I hate washing dishes like I just don't like it um, And my apartment has a dishwasher and I literally didn't start using it until like maybe two months ago um, just because like <coughs> Excuse me um, growing up like in a Mexican household with my dad It was like like you don't use a dishwasher. That's lazy like you don't you don't do that so I just like had that mentality like living on my own and then I was like what's like why like um I'm gonna use it so I started using it and so I use the dishwasher because I hate I hate washing dishes <laughs> number 41 uh, my favorite color is yellow so that's just like random but I like the color yellow I just feel like it's bright and happy and positive and it sticks out so I like the color yellow number 42 um, my whole life I've lived in Southern California. I've never lived anywhere else. I mean Basically lived my whole life in Azusa um, I did live in LA for a little bit when I went to school out there and That's that's it. Then I lived in Azusa. I lived in Azusa on my own and then um, Now I do not live in Azusa, but I still live in Southern California And I don't think that I will ever move out of Southern California. I don't know um I think if I did, if I moved somewhere, it would be temporary. I don't think that I would ever move somewhere 
um, for like the remainder of my life. I don't know. I like being close to my family. Okay, number 43 is that my husband and I were friends for a couple years before we actually started dating. So we were just friends. We were really close, we, or we got really close um, rather quickly, um, but we were just friends for like a really long time. Um, and I can't even tell you like exactly like when we started dating, like it just happened. I don't know. Um, but, but yeah, I'm, I'm kind of glad that we had that time where we were like just friends and there was like no pressure or anything. Number 44 is that I wear my emotions on my face. So this is something that I have been told from multiple employers <laughs> as one of my flaws is that I wear my emotions on my face and my family can attest to that as well. If I'm upset, you can clearly tell. Like I don't have to say one word. You will know from my face. Um, that I am not happy <laughs> um, or I'm just upset in general um, but yeah that's something that I've, I've tried to work on um, especially in a workplace uh, it's it's hard especially in education when it's education is so flawed like so flawed um, that like you don't want to express how you feel especially like when I'm trying to hold it in obviously I'm not speaking out loud but my face still says it it's that's definitely hard um uh, but yeah that's something that I'm working on but okay um number 45 was that um when I was in high school I was on the wrestling team the cheer team and the softball team so I did all three sports and yes cheer is a sport it's a very physical uh you get hurt all the time um but yeah so cheer is actually a sport that i did since i was like four years old so um that was something that my mom put me in at a young age and i really enjoyed uh wrestling is a sport that i started in high school and it was by far the best sport that i ever joined i did wrestling for a few years um i never I was never in the like the shape that I was in wrestling like my physical shape was so good just because it's such a physical sport and obviously you know like weight has a lot to do with it um but yeah it was just so it's so much fun and I loved it um and softball is a sport that I had done since I think I was in fifth grade um and that sport um I didn't love it uh, but I enjoyed it so I was not the type of person that was like trying to get a softball scholarship or like even trying to be on varsity like I enjoyed being on JV um, as a freshman just because like I don't know it was just fun like it was just something fun for me to do so I really enjoyed playing softball as well okay let's see number I don't know what number I'm on no 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 Okay, number 46. Um, my favorite places to shop are Marshalls and Target. So um, I miss Marshalls so much that it's closed right now. Um, Marshalls is a place that I mainly shop for like home decor stuff. Um, sometimes shoes, but definitely like makeup or skincare, um, stationery, workout clothes, but like everyday clothes, not so much. Um, but yeah, I love Marshalls. Like, I can spend hours in that store and I can fill up my whole cart. I usually do that. I'll fill up, like, my whole cart and then at the end I'll be like, okay, what do I really need and what do I, what can I put back? Um, and then Target, like, who doesn't love Target? Target has everything. And I actually really love Target's clothes. I think Target's clothes, um, are, like, a little bit pricey. I mean, not really. Um, but they're like good quality and I like their sizing because they have like so many different sizes and yeah so I love Target. Um, I haven't been going obviously because of the whole um, coronavirus but I so I do miss that too. Um, okay number 47 is weird. Um, I miss going to school so and I don't mean work I miss my work but I miss being a student. Which is weird because I feel like I've never been like, oh, I love school or I'm good at school. Like, I mean, I'm I'm okay at school. I'm pretty good at school, but I don't know. I think it's just because I'm bored because of this whole like pandemic. Like I, but 
Also, I just like the the feeling of accomplishing something. I love that feeling. I love graduations. Um, so I I don't know. Maybe I'm gonna get a doctorate degree soon, or maybe like a second master's degree, um, just because I I enjoy going to school. I like the challenge. I think. Um, I think that should have been another random fact. Is that I'm very competitive. I'm super competitive like very competitive um and so is my husband which a lot of people don't know about him but he is very competitive too so good luck to our children i don't know uh, okay um number 48 is i love airports so i well number one i love to travel so um but you know not not all people that love to travel love the airport experience i love airports even like the like just like the chaotic airport mess that you know like you're always in i don't know i like that and i love like people watching so like, you see all different kinds of people in an airport and you meet a lot of random people so yeah i really love airports and i can't wait for this to all be over so i can go somewhere on a plane <laughs> uh number 49 is i don't like hospitals i don't like seeing sick people i don't like being sick i don't like um just being in a hospital makes me feel like weak i don't like blood i don't even like the sight of my own blood like i just i get like i don't know weak and like weirded out by all that stuff um so yeah i'm obviously very excited to give birth to my son but i'm not excited to be in a hospital i do not like hospitals um and then the last fact the 50 50th fact about me is that um, my favorite place to travel is Mexico. So I've traveled to so many places within Mexico and I feel like it's never it's a never ending list of places that I want to go in Mexico. And I know some people are like, oh, but Mexico is, you know, like right next door. Why don't you want to travel other places? And I do. I definitely do want to travel, you know, like in Europe and overseas and stuff. But um, I just love the mexican culture and um the food like is number one i feel um and also that it's um so inexpensive to travel to mexico um and i have i have never had a bad experience i don't know like knock on wood but i've never had a bad experience going to mexico um i i love it there so that's my favorite place to go but that concludes my, the 50 facts random facts about me um i hope you guys enjoyed it i know it's a pretty long video i'm sorry um i just wanted to give you a little bit more background on me if you have any questions um or if you have anything in common with me please leave a comment down below i would love to know that um and like i said if you have not subscribed please subscribe and click the notification bell so you can get notified every time i upload a video I hope you have a positive and great day.